term personality refers to the enduring and unique patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that make us, us. Most personality traits are neither good nor bad in and of themselves, but when personality traits get in the way of social or occupational growth and create psychological distress, they could constitute a personality disorder. A personality disorder is characterized by stable patterns of thoughts, feelings, attitudes, or behaviors that cause significant distress or interfere with relationships or work. There are 10 personality disorders that are divided into three clusters called A, B, and C. Cluster A personality disorders involve odd or eccentric traits such as social withdrawal, lack of emotional expression, and distorted thinking. The first disorder in this cluster is paranoid personality disorder. People with this disorder are distrustful and suspicious of others. They are sensitive to perceived insults or attacks on their self-image and fear humiliation. The second disorder in this cluster is schizoid personality disorder. People with this disorder are solitary, aloof, and don't show emotional expression. It's important to note that these individuals may want intimacy and friendship, but they don't have the skills to create these relationships. The last disorder in this cluster is schizotypal personality disorder. This disorder manifests as odd behavior and social disconnection. For example, someone with schizotypal personality disorder might believe that they can read minds. All three of the cluster A personality disorders show some overlap with symptoms with psychotic disorders and are more likely to occur in people related to someone with a psychotic disorder. Cluster B personality disorders involve dramatic, emotional, or unpredictable behaviors and limited awareness of the impact of those behaviors on others. There are four disorders in this cluster. Histrionic personality disorder is characterized by dramatic and attention-seeking behavior. They're sensitive and easily hurt, but are often unaware of how their behavior is impacting others. Narcissistic personality disorder is characterized by feelings of extreme self-importance and entitled behaviors. They lack empathy and are insensitive towards the needs and feelings of others. Borderline personality disorder is characterized by unstable moods, feelings of abandonment, impulsivity, and self-harm. People with this disorder are quick to feel abandoned and betrayed. They also tend towards aggressive behaviors and self-harm. The last disorder in this cluster is antisocial personality disorder, or APD. People with this disorder lack empathy, break rules, lie, and manipulate others. Many people with APD engage in criminal behavior, but not all break the law or act violently. And while some people with APD would be considered sociopaths or psychopaths, these are not official diagnostic terms. Cluster C personality disorders are strongly linked to anxious or fearful behaviors. The first disorder in this cluster is avoidant personality disorder. People with this disorder are socially inhibited, fear rejection, and are hypersensitive to criticism. They tend to feel inadequate and see themselves in a negative light. Dependent personality disorder is characterized by a lack of self-confidence, which causes them to cling to others for support and in order to not feel alone. The last disorder in this cluster is obsessive compulsive personality disorder. This disorder sounds a lot like obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. But obsessive compulsive personality disorder is different in that it doesn't involve the obsessions and compulsions. Instead, people with this disorder tend to be perfectionists. They're overly formal, rule-focused, detail-oriented, and inflexible. People rarely seek treatment for personality disorders since these traits, however maladaptive, seem normal to them. Often they assume that the problem lies with other people rather than recognizing that their own behavior is the source of their social difficulties.